So is this Peak Design backpack actually worth it? In today's video, I actually cover whether the backpack that MKBHD recommended is actually worth the 200 to 300 bucks for this sort of thing. Let's get into it. What's going on? It's your boy Kevin Yee, the Farm D, and today I have something really, really cool. Uh, I actually dropped some money on the Peak Design um, backpack, and not sure if you can see it, but I bought the 30 liter today as well. Now I've been, t I was taking a look at uh, eBay and stuff, look at some of them, but I found out that there were some fakes here. <laughs> and by the way. Uh, if you guys do decide to buy the backpack, I would love it for you to use my affiliate link. I'll leave it in the description below. Just really helps support my channel and helps me pump out more content as well. Okay. So over the years, I've actually bought a lot of different backpacks. In the past, I used to buy these backpacks from Amazon. If you can't tell, this is the Mancro backpack and all the zippers are pretty much ripped off, making this bag pretty much useless. So let's get that in trash. Here's my current daily carrier. And this is my, um, this is by High Sierra, bought off Amazon. And if you can't tell, there's like hole, there's a hole at the bottom right here. Take a look at it. The backpack is still usable, but you know, it's kind of wearing down. So I was just like, hey, why not? Maybe it's time to kind of get a new backpack. And one of the other things I've been really looking at is a camera bag. So like for me, um, well, this isn't my main shooter. Actually, this is my main shooter. It's a G85 with a, uh, it's a G85 with a 12 to 35, 2.8 uh, lens, right? Um, but, you know, I like to travel a lot or I've been trying to travel a lot more ever since I've had this kind of remote lifestyle. So I've been looking at different bags that, you know, I can actually pack things, right? And with a regular backpack, it's kind of hard to pack any camera gear if you ever tried. Um, luckily, the GA5 is really small, so I have just disassemble it. But if I want to shoot on the go, I don't really have that many options. And plus, I want to be able to pack more stuff in my bag than I currently do. So that's why I got the larger one. Today, I thought we could kind of do an unboxing and see what this bag is like and just give my first impressions, right? Um, so one, I was like, uh, like I was saying, I was looking for a bag that could hold my camera second thing i was looking for a versatile traveling bag since i am going to scotland later and i'm going to um, vancouver i thought it'd be really cool and three i was just looking for a dope ass looking bag no offense but this this bag is pretty ugly so i thought you know having a peak design bag would look really sick and plus i can test it out and see if it's actually worth it right so let's open this really quick. Ooh, nice packaging. And it comes in this like kind of paper packaging, really awesome. And basically it comes with this thread, really high quality backpack. Let's see, pull. Ooh. Cool. All right. Let's get rid of this and let's open the back. And there's two sizes. I believe there's a 24 and the 30. I opted for the bigger size because hell, I mean, uh, uh, especially when you got as much gear as I do, it's important to have a bigger bag. So far, it doesn't look too crazy. Um, looks pretty normal bag for me. And fits me pretty well. It looks like when backpacking really quick. Some of the things I really like about this bag uh, off the MKBHD video was uh, kind of like the size. So one of the things that is really cool is that it has the interior design so that you can actually, um, let me kind of throw all these padding things away is you can fit a camera, you can fit a laptop, you can fit so many different things. Um, this top component, I was thinking I, maybe I can fit my jujitsu clothes. This middle one, maybe I can fit my camera gear, but that's really cool. Really love that. And one of the other things too, that's really cool is that 
um, there's a latch. So let me see. Yes, there's multiple latches. So if I have something like a lot of clothes or something, I can use the top latch and have it there, right? But um, yeah, it's really cool. Cool, awesome. Um, another cool thing is that you can hold, there's these side handles. So if you're in a car and you're like me and you leave this bag here, you can pull it out and just carry it like that. One thing that you have to be careful about is making sure that the side handles are zipped up as well. So that's really important. Um, and there's also kind of these straps where you can tie up like, you can tie up a uh, anti-mold chip, ew. Um, you can tie up your tripods or anything like that. But otherwise they can tuck in here. And basically now I can actually put like my water bottle. One of the biggest problems with my old bag like we got the side pocket but it's so small you can't really fit anything so one thing i really do like already is kind of like the side pockets and whatnot and there's also these uh, additional carrying straps out down here at the bottom of the bag that i can um do as well so i probably don't even know all the functions i was watching a lot of different reviews videos and was talking about that and there's also a top top sleeve too so you can actually shove your laptops and all that as well so that's really convenient to have a separate pouch um there's like a half pouch up here too uh so you can fit any smaller things but it's just really really convenient so far um really and the nylon and it's you can tell this is just a bag that holds its shape very well very secure um and it, it's, i took all the padding out but it's just very like, it holds its shape. It doesn't deform, which is really important when you're protecting your camera gear. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves is when like, uh, you have multiple things, things get squished and all that, but this really holds its shape. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, so far I like it. What I will do is kind of do a later video, maybe talking about more of the in intricacies of this bag and seeing like, hey, how does it hold up? during my travels to Vancouver and all that and see if there's any cool functions. But at the end of the day, it's a really high quality bag. What I believe in as well, like when you're buying tech or anything like that is don't bottleneck yourself at the highest top tiers. These are using a backpack. I use it every single day, whether it's going to a coffee shop or anything like that. So don't cheap out on the everyday essentials. Um, I've obviously wasted a lot of money on these cheap bags, but something that looks cool and that makes you happy every single day, just spend it. Um, you, you will get your investment back just from, you know, not buying cheap stuff and it will last for a long time. Buy the best and hold on to it forever, says Ramit Sethi. Um, like I said, if you guys are thinking about buying this bag, be aware of fakes. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and obviously support my channel uh, using the affiliate link below. I'll leave a few different links. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions about this bag, leave them in the comments below. I'll do a part two answering all your questions, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Peace.